All right, back on the Impala. This is one somebody else did the interior in. I finished cleaning the seats, cleaning, well, cleaning everything, really. Cleaning shampoo the carpet. I put new floor mats in it. I'm from Auto Custom Carpet. I think you have to find a third party company to buy those. So if you need some, I guess get in contact with me. I'll order you some, no big deal. Still got to do the headliner for them. Redid this, covered it in the suede. It was faded headliner material. New seat belts. Some new massive 6x9s. I haven't clicked those down because those trim pieces go first and go up under there. Cleaned. Fixed all this stuff up, put new screws in here. Stainless steel. Yeah, they're silver. Speaking of screws, I even painted all the screws, original screws. Seat belts. I'll put new weather stripping on it. New used weather stripping since it's not available for this vehicle. I got lucky and found it. It's in good shape. Well, it was in pretty good shape. I cleaned it up a lot. Clean the trunk out. Got rid of all this. I don't know what I'm going to do for carpet. This speaker box is going to take most of the trunk up, so I have to do a custom finished trunk for him. All new wire. Alright, main reason for this video is getting a double den. Maybe I'll do some tips on what I do to finish that since it's not supposed to take a double den. That's a fat radio for people that don't know what a double DIN is. Single DIN radio is your normal size radios. Half that thickness. Uh, I had a viewer ask about cracks in door panels, which is common for this vehicle. There's a main one there. And that same spot on the driver door. Now given most of these that are busted up a lot more than that are probably garbage. Not much saving them. Unless you want to use them as a pattern to like fiberglass over and custom wrap. That would be your only choice probably. Let me show you what. I'm not charging for this. This is just some extras. I'm going to try to salvage what he has and make it look a little better make everything fit a little better Here's, if you saw the first video all this kind of stuff was hanging because the clips were broken another common problem with this vehicle uh, luckily we have most of the clips so. what I use for reattaching them epoxy uh, not this particular one. I use Loctite, the one that comes with the twisty cap. It's a lot easier and a lot less mess. So what I'll do, uh, I'm not going to do it on camera because this is not the one I'm using. I'm going to go purchase the one with the twisty cap just for that reason. It's a lot quicker, a lot easier. So we'll clean all this off first. Uh, favorite cleaner. I thought I had got it out already. Crud cutter I've used on I don't know how many videos I've showed. I don't know where it is. Go figure. Alright, we'll clean everything real good. I'll use a toothbrush, crud cutter, any kind of cleaner, soapy water if you have to, whatever. I'll put a layer of this, attach the clip, and here's the key, here's the tip. Let that settle and get tacky, 
what that stuff does it settles and levels out thinner as it's settling if that made sense yeah so as it does that come back and put it build up another layer over top the clip that way you have a nice built up epoxy over the metal attached to the plastic good even take some sandpaper and sand the plastic before you start the first coat of epoxy. It would help adhere to the plastic better. So there's that one. Cracks like this. Um, main reason for that is strength from the structure. So you got people pulling on the door panel here. You're going to create that crack even though it's probably happened from people removing the door panel this is a type of epoxy I don't use for brakes or mins but it is good for building up the back of an area for strength so after we mend this crack with, I'll probably use super glue super glue it the best I can I got a tip for super glue also um, and after that's glued good come back here and sand it real good so this stuff will stick to it nice and just build this up and build a bridge across the crack so that's the best tip I have for something of that nature as far as better epoxies the only other thing I know better than this would be to go to an automotive paint supplier and get 3M epoxy it's about $50 a tube. That stuff hardens like straight plastic. So if you need something really strong. These I've went over before. Not so much on the broken parts. I use alcohol soaked in a tub. And let that sit for a few minutes. And you can come back and get this coating of funk wipes right off so clean these real good kind of the same thing on them as that crack I'm going to super glue them together and then build up strength with this on the back a tip for super glue <clears throat> I like the cheap normal liquid super glue I've tried all these others with uh, model cars and everything else the gel I stay away from the gel because it never really dries. It stays like gel. So it's kind of pointless in my eyes. Uh, the tip and the way to make super glue work correctly is of course have both surfaces clean. This particular cracks not the best fitting so I don't know about that one. Usually you want a really clean break to make the super glue work good. Like that one will glue fine. But the key is to put the super glue on both surfaces. Let it dry a good 20 seconds maybe to where it starts melting into the plastic. Now here's the part that makes all the difference. At that point when you make that contact you find a way to hold it if it's with your hands you'd be really steady you push the same amount of pressure on it holding it together and if you flex move anything while that's hardening together you're not going to get a good glue so that's the key don't move <laughs> hold it together and as that plastic melts from both ends it should pretty much seam itself back together now of course could snap again pretty easy especially if you moved it all and created a new hairline crack between those surfaces build it up with that as long as you get a good contacting glue job uh, epoxy putty I use this on models and crafts it would be good if you have notches or big cuts or scrapes or gouges or a uh, like body filler um, I don't have any spots here maybe we have you know a real big gap on a crack that needs filling so you can come back and fill and sand that real easy and it hardens pretty nice like plastic 
There's some tips, best ones I got. If you have any questions, any more, uh, any other thing you want to want me to go over on these impalas, let me know in the comments. I'll make another video. Peace. Sorry, that was hard to get all that out. This is my first words for the morning. All right, later.